BYU verbal commit Aaron Anderson was a key player in Corona Santiago's run to a Division II title game appearance last season. After a brilliant postseason averaging 4.1 kills per set, she earned Inland Sports Co-Public School Player of the Year honor sharing it with Temecula Valley setter Jordan Amoy. Roughly two months prior to the start of the 2018 season, she spends a few minutes with us on uh, Monday afternoon. All right, Aaron, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, tell us about your earliest memories of volleyball. How old were you when you first picked up a ball? Who got you started? Things like that. Well, I was still in middle school, but my brother played on the Santiago boys team, so I'd always go watch him, and it was super fun to watch, and I played soccer for about like eight years, so I never really thought about volleyball, but then he was like, you need to play volleyball, you're so tall, and so one day I went into Mavericks, which is pretty close to where I live, and um, the director just put a ball in my hands, he saw I was tall, and so we just started um, passing the ball around, setting, and I loved it, and ever since I've just been playing, so. Is it one of those deals where she's tall, we can teach We can teach the rest later? <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> All right. Last year, Santiago made a run to the Division II title game and into the Division I state tournament, but graduated uh, several key seniors, including Ashlyn Blotzer, Amy Cortez, and Sarah Smavog. Now that the mantle of senior leadership is passed to you and uh, Kayla Pronio, what did you learn from those seniors that you'll take into this campaign? All those seniors are really hardworking girls, and they were very dedicated, so... I just want to strive to be, be like the, them and um, our captains, Amy and Sarah, were really um, strong with us and really kept us pushing and that's what I want to be this year and help the team out, help us strive towards our goals. So, Okay. The Sharks Big 8 League winning streak is, I believe it's 66? I think so. <laughs> um, so either 61 or 66 yeah. matches. Will this be the uh, toughest of the four years to keep that streak alive? Well, my freshman year, um, we were really good, and we've always we've always been really good. But this year, we've lost a lot of se great seniors and a lot of girls. But we still have really amazing girls. So I think I think we will be fine. We'll we'll do great this year, and um, we've all played with each other like in club. We played against each other, so we um, definitely know each other's strengths and weaknesses and we're just working towards that and I think we're going to be great this year. It, it'll be harder but it's going to be so great. Talk about that, that dynamic of uh, seeing each other in club and then coming back to high school and being teammates yeah. and then <laughs> being great. teammates with other girls in the big eight on yeah. your club team and then playing against them once the bell rings in August. Yeah. Um, is that a weird dynamic or is it just okay on to the next? It's, it's pretty weird but I mean I love it because we all know each other so well and there's that like chemistry but um, and that rivalry against each other but it's so fun um, knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses and just playing against each other there's that rivalry so it's fun. Okay. You verbaled to BYU at the start of 2018 I believe it was just after New Year's right? Yes. Um, um, December, uh, I was at a Salt Lake tournament. Okay. Was, yeah. It was, um, Talk, tell us about some of the other schools who are fighting for your services and ultimately what set BYU apart in that fight for your services. Um, I was looking at a couple different schools. I went on a visit to UCI, UCSB, and UVU. And um, I've been looking at a lot of Utah schools mostly because um, my family's up there and all those schools are amazing at volleyball. And, um, so BYU has... Growing up, I'm LDS, so BYU has always been an, a big option for me. But ever since, um, until I started playing volleyball, that's when I really got interested in BYU because I'd always watched the girls' team and they were so good. And I was like, I wanna, I wanna be playing for them. So that's what I've strived for my whole club career. And, um, but the other schools I was looking at too are also amazing. I got um, an offer from UCSB and UVU, and those were. Um, really high on my list, but BYU has always been my top, and my brother goes there, and he loves it, so, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Maybe you got a piece of advice for the juniors and seniors still fighting their way through the process, trying to find their fit? Um, yeah, just keep sending out emails to a bunch of different schools, because you never know what you'll really be interested in, and, like, 
I never really knew until I went on visits and um, really saw different campuses and how like the culture and everything so just send out emails to colleges you don't even think about going to or um, be sending out highlights those are really important and um, college coaches really like to see that so how old were you when the light came on that hey I could be recruited and get get my <laughs> school paid for through volleyball well I that's the thing I never really um, thought about until I was like um, maybe 16, 17. I, I switched my clubs to Forza uh, last year. So last season was my first year at Forza and that's when like I really knew I could be playing for college and um, the coaches there really helped me um, start sending out emails. That's when I started and it was really helpful and so just probably two years ago I started really thinking about college. Okay. Uh, tell us a funny story about last year's team. Maybe something that happened between matches at a tournament, for example. Um, like a funny moment? Yeah. Or, well, during practices, we mess around sometimes. We work hard, but we have our funny moments. And one time, just randomly, our assistant was um, cutting up this ball. And like I went and put it on my head and just practiced it with it. And it was super funny. Like All the girls cracked up. and. That was just a really funny moment for us because I look silly. <laughs> and um, we just have a lot of funny moments, like a lot of girls tripping over balls, and it's we're a crazy team. <laughs> that ball on your head was kind of like Mississippi State and the bananas in the College World Series? <laughs> yes, it was so funny. <laughs> Actually, Mississippi State's playing right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> or no, next. Loser's game is first. <laughs> Uh, what's been your favorite volleyball-related trip uh, so far? What made that uh, experience stand out? Um, when we went to Louisiana for um, Junior Olympics in club, is that right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, club. Um, and we kind of like me and my family like drove around and looked at like just the city and stuff, and it was really nice there. And the tournament was super fun playing with the girls, a lot of college coaches, so. I don't know, it's just a really fun tournament. Yeah, and the reason I ask is, is volleyball, you become kind yeah. of a world traveler. Yes. Um, especially at its more elite levels when you go to JNQs and Junior yeah. Nationals, AAU. Yeah, so many traveling tournaments. So. All right. All right. How would, how, how would you describe the evolution of your game over the last three years? Well, um... I've definitely progressed each year I've played volleyball, and um, I've also switched positions a lot. This is the first year in club I'm actually playing outside hitter now, um, and last season in high school I played right side, and then the seasons before I played middle, so just all these different transitions have been pretty hard because it's a lot of different footwork, um, different blocking, and but I've definitely progressed as a player, my coaches, I've been doing privates, and um, I've just progressed a lot with um, my hitting skills, I've been getting stronger, so. What are you projected as at the next level? Wait, what do you mean? Like? Position-wise? Uh, outside. Outside? Better, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is one random fact that no one knows about you? Book, but I mean, I guess I'm good at drawing. People don't know that. Uh, cartoons and uh, animation, those sorts of things, or like landscapes. Landscapes. Mm, so something like this. Yeah. Like a <laughs> okay. Whenever uh, this season ends and you step off the court for, in, for the final time in a Santiago jersey, uh, what do you hope your legacy will be to the program? I just want people to know me as just hardworking and dedicated to the game, and I want to really strive for that like the upcoming freshmen and just the girls I've played with I want them to keep working hard and keeping our title like that. And, yeah, I just have you had a chance yet to meet the incoming uh, players there's actually three freshmen on our team this year so I've, I've met some of some of them just during tryouts and stuff so okay do you know what you'll study at BYU and if so what will that be um, I'm hoping to study psychology. Okay. How would your friends describe you outside the lines? Um, like volleyball-wise, or just uh, as a person, as a person outside the um, lines. 
nice, um, outgoing, and happy. <laughs> All right, and we'll skip the last one because we are, that would double back. So, the so the revamp starts here. <laughs> Instead of rapid fire, and it was like 10 to 12 last oh, year, yeah. like, like you saw with Sarah, <laughs> mm -hmm. we're going 15 with EA. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> worst and favorite subjects in school? Uh, my worst subject would probably be um, math. <laughs> and then my favorite, probably language arts, because I'm good at writing. Okay. Uh, favorite movie? Uh, Safe Haven. Uh, favorite TV show? Uh, Friends. Uh, karaoke go to? Oh, gosh. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what are some songs? Let's see. Um, California Girls. Okay. <laughs> Guilty shopping pleasure? Shoes. Hmm. And I used to work at a Steve Madden, too. <laughs> uh, favorite athlete? Amy Boswell. Um,. We'll skip that since you already answered it. <laughs> Favorite restaurant? Um, I like BJ's. Okay. Favorite dessert? Kazuki. Uh, <laughs> name one item from your sports bucket list. Um, like it could be shoes or... Like, like a event you want, like a game you want to go see, like oh, okay. something um, like that. A BYU game. <laughs> okay. Uh, who would play you in a movie? Oh my gosh. Um, a really outgoing, funny girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, during tournaments, and this is club or high school, okay. first to ref or last to ref? First to ref. Favorite Disneyland ride? Um, Space Mountain. Okay. Celebrity crush? Oh gosh. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> okay. Full house or fuller house? Full house. <laughs> and stagecoach or Coachella? Stagecoach. All right. Aaron, thank you for joining us on this Monday. Um, thank you for having me. Best of luck to the Sharks in the upcoming campaign.